your mouse, a show I also have never heard of. It doesn't look terribly interesting. It ran for a it ran familiar. It ran for a shit lo for a shit long time, eleven years. Well, according to IGN, anyway. I don't know. Hurry up and load. Yeah, I have, oh. I have no idea what this show is. Next. It, wow, says it, it, says, it says it's British produced, so if anyone in England knows the show and wants he to correct look, us. He looks familiar. I think I might have seen the show before. But you have nothing to say, but, right? No, I no, nothing, because uh, nothing's coming to mind. All Number right. 61, Count Duckula. I have heard of this show. I have never seen it. Same here. Next. Oh, wait, Johnny, do you have anything to say? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wait, the, the page is taking forever. Okay, I've seen the picture. No, I don't know shit about it. Next. Number 60. ch ch ch, -ch Rescue Rangers. Rescue Rangers. I never saw it. I do know Chip and Dale, mostly from Kingdom Hearts, but I, I, I do know Chip and Dale, but I don't know Rescue Rangers. Another good Disney afternoon show that I watched a lot as a kid. Uh, and yeah. it had a very catchy theme song. So catchy Indeed. that I still remember it to this day. Outside of a certain other Disney afternoon <laughs> show, which I'm sure we'll get to eventually... If it's on this list. Number 59 is Spider-Man and his amazing friends. What? It, the God damn advertisements. <laughs> damn you, IGN. And the picture is, is this badly drawn, well, typical female superhero wow. in flame-colored sure tights. Like I'm definitely getting Spider-Man off that impression. <laughs> Let's see. I, uh, did not, oh. I have not seen that show. So I, I have nothing no, to say. This is way before. This is before my time. <laughs> I, never I assume. This I assume this this picture is supposed to be about this this fire star that they reference in the in the paragraph as the 1980s cartoon hotness. It doesn't look that um, hot to me. It looks like a badly drawn. Um, well, okay. yeah. So besides commenting I, on the picture, does anyone have anything to say about it? Yeah, it I've looks. It, it, it sounds. So I got it. it sounds like Super Friends. Next, number fifty-eight. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Why did that show ever become popular? Also known as <laughs> "It's Okay to Be Gay," let's rejoice <laughs> with the boys in a gay way. <laughs> I can send you that song if you want to use it in the video. No, my horrible singing oh. is enough since I only sing one line. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that show is just. Duh. I don't it's... know why, but that show's always just so been so jarring to me for no discernible reason. Why do people talk about this show with nostalgic happiness? I, I would never be know cr anyone who actually likes the show. I don't know anybody and, that actually watches. You know something? Nostalgic. They actually like. They, I, I don't remember if it was a remake or if it was the original He-Man, but Cartoon Network aired He-Man for a while while I was a kid. Yeah, I know uh, they did. I never watched it because I hated it. No, I, it, it looks a fair bit less shittily animated than the, than the clips I keep seeing, so I assume it was kind of a remake. Or it may just be what the quality they're using, but... Number 57, Invader Zim. Dear you, God, yes. Yes. <laughs> Don't in Vasquez, you deserve more credit. I don't know. I'm going to be... Okay, in that case, I'm going to be the minority here. I think the show is vastly overrated. It is overrated, <laughs> I'm sorry. but it's still a good show. It's Same only here. because I, it's I very sick and twisted and it's very dark. Something children's shows just don't do. Dare I say that it is very Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon. Yes, it is. And that's why Nickelodeon sucks these days. Next! Number 56, The Venture Brothers. It's okay, if only I, because it's making fun of Johnny Quest. I just started getting into this show because everybody at the Art Institute watches it, praises it. I can see why a little bit, but I gotta watch more in order, in order to really critique it. I only like I, it because of the Monarch. 
He's such a stupid villain. <laughs> it surprisingly works. <laughs> All right. Kneel before me. <laughs> Kneel before me. <laughs> All right. Number, um, number 55, fifty-five is Teenage the eighty-seven Mutant Ninja Turtles. Also, known as the good show. Yeah. Yeah, the good one. And I actually did kind of like this when it came on. So, I mean, I'm not a Turtles fan, and I was never a Turtles fan, but I did kind of like the this cartoon when I, when I happened to see it on TV. So I'll give it its credit there. I was a big Ninja Turtles fan as a kid. I remember well, waiting uh, for hours in the hot sun at Disney World <laughs> just to see the Turtles and their, you know, the guys in the costumes jump out on stage for like <laughs> ten minutes. You're such a loser. <laughs> I was three years old. <laughs> I was three freaking years old. All right. Well, as as someone who's actually seen this cartoon for more than three or four episodes, um, wh- where would, would you say it belongs, higher, lower, or I think right? It's a, I, think it's a, I think it's about right. Okay. Well, IGN got it right for once. Next up is Inspector Gadget. I only remember the show for a the theme song and b. I'll get you gadget next time. <laughs> I actually did actively watch this show, so I, I liked it. I don't know if it, I don't know if I would like it if I went back and watched it now, but yeah. What did you think of the movie? The first one, not the not the second one. Uh, what? <laughs> All I can say is that's a lot of fish. Oh god, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention there was a goddamn sequel with French Stewart. Uh, uh. <laughs> I wouldn't rate the cartoon this high, but I would think it's on the list. I think that's a good Next enough. up is Freakazoid, Freakazoid, baby, yeah! yeah. And if I'm... anything, he belongs higher. <laughs> yes. Just don't say Candlejack. Oh, shit. <laughs> Freakazoid, why did you say his name? Because I, I wanted to do one of those funny things like, and you ever watch F Troop where Agarn says, there's no way I'm wearing a dress, absolutely not, no dress, and Forrest Tucker's like, yeah, you're wearing that dress, you're going to wear that dress, and then they wipe, <laughs> and Agarn's wearing a dress. I can't go down in the sewers. You don't understand, they smell like poo gas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to go watch a little bear ride a motorcycle in a circle for a while? Do I, six hours later. You know, I think after five hours, Zach's starting to wear a little thin. <laughs> Uh, this is an awesome show. <laughs> All the After a while, it, shows. yeah, uh, and then I, I, I remember start watching the shit out of it when it was on Cartoon Network, but then it started getting a real shitty time slot. Ugh. But this was, yeah, this was like one of the last. Uh, uh, it was like Steven's great Spurs. cartoons of the. Of yeah. The decade. <laughs> All right, number fifty-two is Galaxy High. What looks like a high school cartoon that I've never seen and don't isn't give a just, shit about. Yeah, isn't it? I have never seen this show, and I don't care. Next! Oh, wait, Johnny, do you have anything? We keep reading the whole time. God damn it. That's the way of the face of the Lord. All I see is an amoeba who I'm missing is a taxi driver. And I'm oh. already not interested. Next. Number 51. Oh, quick shout out to Dark Angel the Light. Your show is number 51. It's Death, Death Note. Note. Huzzah. Now I take like... that potato chip. And eat I've it. never seen it. I've never seen it. It's okay. It it's it's pretty good. The problem is it's I, so overdone at times you just have to laugh at it. Look, the only yeah. reason I actually but know about Death Note, Note is because a certain person knows because he's been there. I do like L as a character though. You have to watch the show to know who he is. I, I, and I, I also I, remember I, one How the fuck did Super Friends get on this I list? I wasn't done yet. Well, yeah, I know, I'm but jumping ahead of us, Lars. God damn it. Anyway, okay, I, I, next. I, I, besides I do like Elle as a character, the other thing I remember about the show is I remember watching it subbed online before it came out here. There's a famous yeah. sub slide where Light is explaining his plan, but instead of doing it, you know, like two sentences at a time so it keeps, you know, going away and then coming back up, they do it yeah. in like one slide. So there's like a wall of text on the screen. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> It was probably just a bad translation, but jeez. Okay, now we can move on to number 50. The Super Friends, meanwhile, in the Hall of Justice. Which doesn't deserve to be on the top 100 list or on the Walmart shelves where I've been seeing it lately. But we could use whales. 
Wales. <laughs> Uh, they call it the Amazing Hanna Barbera Cheese Fest. <laughs> it is. It's such a cheesy show. It's, it's, campy. Cheesy. it's cheesier than the you know Adam West Batman show. That's how cheesy it is. It's not quite as cheesy as when the uh, when the bat when Batman made his Scooby Doo cameos, but you know. Oh, that was that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. 